Hello and welcome to this new lesson. Today I'll show you how you can connect the schematic diagram for each component in this PDF file which is for the Arduino Nano as you can see here Arduino Nano schematic we'll start with this at Mega so let's start by adding the component that we need for this schematic I'll take it to my other screen so that we can add it I uh, suggest that you print this schematic and keep it at hand while doing this design so let's start by adding the resistors so here we don't need any resistor we need a capacitor wait but before adding the items we need to change this design area so go to the design templates and general templates you can choose any size all of these are available I'll choose A3 or A3 portrait, portrait, okay, this is the A3, as you can see now we have a larger design area, let's zoom out so that you can see how big this design area now, as you can see you can move freely, we'll add that mega at the middle of this design area to zoom in and out, press control key from the keyboard and the scroll key in the mouse, now we have this at Mega, which is the brain of our microcontroller. Let's start by adding items. Go to libraries. Now the items that we need are switch. Okay, here we have switches. You can add any of these two. Let's go with this one. We want to add this close to the reset switch. As you can see here, we have a reset button. And the next item that we need is a capacitor. So here you can check any of these capacitors. We need a 100 nanofarad capacitor and we want to place it here in the A reference pin area. Next, we need two capacitors for the crystal and we can change their values. Let's drag these two. 18 picofarad copy that and paste it as you can see here now next item is the crystal itself so go here crystal and drag it here as you can see we have these three items okay now if you want to drag uh, multiple items you can do this with your mouse only you must press the control key then uh, select the items that you want to drag then they will go with you but if you did this without the control key as you can see they will drag but they won't drag evenly so if you have wires it won't drag the wires i'll show you this in the wiring section okay now what we need to add next is okay we don't need to add any other item let's start wiring this area i'll do one area at a time so we'll uh, wire this at mega ic then we'll move to the usb area and other sockets so let's start by using this wiring tool it's called place wire as you can see here uh, let's arrange the items this is the first capacitor this is the second capacitor okay we have a capacitor that we don't need let's remove these wires now we want to change this capacitor value to 18 picofarad this one is 18 i prefer to use 33 picofarad instead of 18 so click here double click then change its value to 33 or you can change it here but I prefer changing this from the properties window click the item change this to 33 picofarad that's it now let's start wiring components and um, I'll connect this capacitor using the wiring tool and I'll connect the other end 
that's it now we need to add ground okay let me scale this tool let's add ground here we want also ground um, in this switch area and we want to ground here we also want to ground here so let's connect these items together let's rotate this item as you can see you can align the item you can uh, create action you can place whatever you want on the display but in order to rotate this item you need to press the space bar so on the keyboard so as you can see i select the item then press the space bar and the item is rotated let's connect the crystal use the wiring tool to connect these items together okay now wire this that's it let's connect the first line with the x tal2 and the second line with this pin okay let me be this step let's let's rotate the ground and let's connect this item again okay now everything is connected correctly now we need to connect the ground the, we have two ground bins as you can see this one and this one we need to connect them with the ground now we need to connect this reset button and connect the ground here we'll add a net label next but let's connect the items okay now we have all of these items connected the ground and we have the vcc which must also be connected to the other vcc bin and these two must go and we must connect them to another VCC bin. In order to connect these to the VCC, you need to go to the ground icon, right click on it, then select place plus five power board and add it here, press escape, then choose the wiring and connect it here. That's it. This is how to connect all of these elements. Next is uh, adding dent labels for the rest of elements that are available in this screen so okay let me move here now in order to add net labels net labels is a way to avoid wiring for a long uh, distance inside your schematic so if i name this pin with bwm and i added another ic with the, a bin that has a net label with the very same name they will be connected together without our moving from here to there so it's a very interesting way for connecting elements in order to use net labels as you can see here you need to go to the wiring icon and select net labels now just add the net labels wherever you want as you can see here we need the net label here 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 and we need another net label here okay let me go back let's add another net label here and bin number 19 bin number 20 okay let's see let's rotate the net label we want a net label here and here and we want a net label on all of these pins Okay, uh, also we need net labels here, 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 and here. So we added net labels on all of these pins. Next step is renaming each of these net labels. So net name here is D3, depending on the bin name. And the, this one is called D4. this one 
d2 it will take some time from you but you need to do this right so that you won't have any problem in your schematic this one is called d1 this one is called d0 and here we have a2 here we have a3 a4 a5 now let's go here a1 a0 next one this one is called a7 this one is called a reference next one is a6 and this last one is called d13 okay now going down here d12 i know it will take some time but you need to get them right d11 and you only have to do this one uh, once d9 d8 okay again d7 d6 and d5 okay that's it we just uh, named all of these net labels we can reuse them in the rest of uh, our lessons or in our next lessons but we need to add another net label here and this area so let me rotate this this one is called reset Okay, that's it. We just connected all of these items and as you can see they are up and running. Just click save all documents. Next lesson we will talk about wiring uh, the next section of this schematic which is the regulator area, the resistor array and the USB. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you have any question please ask in the Q&A board.